a boozy pecan pie. <laughs> How good does that sound? So I'm starting with the sticky pecan pie filling, and it's a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of packed brown sugar, a healthy pinch of salt, and then I'm gonna take the cup measure and add dark brown corn syrup. You know, I typically use white corn syrup or light corn syrup it's called, just because I tend to usually have that in my pantry. But there's something about this kind of boozy version of my regular pecan pie. Ooh. <laughs> That's about as full as that cup can possibly get. Ready? Mm. This is what you call a viscous substance. It's so silky and yummy. Okay, so then I'm gonna add three eggs that I already cracked just to make it easy. And a little splash of vanilla, about a teaspoon or so. Normally I would stop mixing here for my regular pecan pie, but I'm gonna take the liberty of adding about a quarter cup of bourbon. Any more than that, and it would probably affect how the pie bakes. Any less than that, and you would be disappointed. Because <laughs> if someone tells me I'm going to take a bite of a boozy pecan pie, I most certainly want to taste that booze. So what's cool is I made a homemade crust and I put a little splash of bourbon in the crust itself. I substituted one of the tablespoons of cold water in the recipe for my pie crust. So there's gonna be booze everywhere you turn with this pie. And then melted butter, and that really, really sends this filling over the top. So I added the pecans to the crust. You can see this, Alex. And this is how I like to make pecan pie. I like to chop the pecans. There are some people who believe, I'm not gonna name names, that pecan pie should have a topping of pecan halves. Oh, I think that's a, an enormous mistake. I think you need to have them chopped up because then you wind up with little crispy, wonderful bits of pecan instead of big halves that tear through the filling. I have a whole philosophy and religion about <laughs> chopping pecans for pecan pie. I'll write a book about it. So I'm gonna lightly cover the pie with foil just to protect the surface so it doesn't get burned while the filling sets. Okay, you ready to get this in the oven? Yep. Now, if you're using a smaller pan, you might wanna put it on a sheet pan just to catch the drips. But I'm gonna put this into a 350 degree oven. Ah. And then in about 50 minutes, I'll take the foil off and let it bake for another probably 20, 30 minutes until it's set. But look what I found. I already made one in another pan, and it has totally baked and totally cooled. Okay, so beautiful, crispy crust on top. So what really makes this pie extra sensational is that I'm gonna make a boozy whipped cream to go over the top. Emphasis on over the top. So I'm gonna sift just about a quarter cup of powdered sugar and then I'll add a cup of cold cream, and you guessed it, healthy splash of bourbon. Pecan pie is wonderful because you can actually serve it cold, room temperature, or warm, and it's delicious any way you slice it. Okay, so then I just stir this around, and I'm actually gonna beat the whipped cream by hand, and that way it'll be kind of soft, It'll just sort of be billowy on the slice of pie. That is so good. Is it really? Mauricio, get in here and look at this. Look at this boozy pecan pie you're getting ready to eat. <gasps> and then a little boozy whipped cream for you. Uh-oh. Thank you. Cheers. Boozy pecan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How is it? Which one mm. are you? So good. 